Thank you, Padre. I'd like to just start with this little um, prayer as a segue in. God, help us listen clearly to what you place upon our hearts this day. Help us tap into our courage, our strength, to face the uncomfortable that we have buried to cope with things in this life. As we do so, we will move to greater balance, body, mind, and spirit, and closer with you in divine grace and union for everything. We are so grateful. Amen. In my childhood programming, I didn't feel safe unless I could save others because situations didn't feel perfect to me unless they were perfect, unless everything was taken care of. So this has been my MO through my life. So even though I was aware of what I was doing, I continued. I brought my dad daily to the hospital and rehab for two weeks. I cleaned and decluttered their home. I made meals for them. I did their laundry. I was an emotional support for my dad. And every day when I came home, I was absolutely exhausted. I just crashed on my couch. This was my routine day after day after day. My mom came home three months later, and I was her sole care provider for three months. I bathed her. I continued doing all the other stuff, totally letting myself go. I wasn't listening. I was losing myself, and I had set God aside, and I had set myself aside. So by the end of 2021, I was falling apart, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. I needed to go completely down and fall in a pile of poo. So I had this fixed perception since childhood. To feel safe, again, I had to save everybody. But I knew at this point I had to stop saving everyone else and I had to try to save myself because I became desperate. So that's when it happened and I was falling apart. So this came right to my mind back when I was going through this last summer when George Bailey in It's a Wonderful Life said, I want to live again. Please God, let me live again. After that, I began listening, truly listening. And as I had this prayer with God and was saying, please help me, I'm ready. I'm ready for help. And Dana reminds us, um, we need to open, we need to find the opening to let others help us. And we have to be willing to look at our childhood stuff. And I just wanna share Desmond Tutu. I love his quote, you are made for perfection. You are not yet perfect. You are a masterpiece in the making. So little Sherry <laughs> had a great deal of terror and fear of change, of the unknown, and no one to guide her. So she acted out so many programmings to feel safe and left me with a big mess to clean up. But it's my mess because she's part of me and I'm cleaning it up and I'm committed to, to, to continuing cleaning it up in this lifetime. But I'm learning 
that it's okay when I don't feel okay. And one of the big things was I never felt good if I didn't feel perfect. It felt so uncomfortable not to feel good. So I'm learning and I still get stuck, but I'm learning to feel okay in the uncomfortableness. I'm learning that, you know, God is there with me in all of it. And Padre Pio speaks of our wounds being so deep that it's hard to see God in those pieces at times. It truly is. I'm learning to create boundaries with myself and with my family, of which I had no boundaries before. I'm learning this uh, perfect peace that I don't have to make things perfect for myself and others. I don't have to fix anybody. They have to fix themselves. They have their own life. I'm working on me and that's enough. I can be there to support them and hold space. And at times I need to give my time and energy to them, but not like I was, not at the expense of myself. I'm learning to feel my feelings, to honor them to honor all of my feelings. And I just wanna share this quickly as just a few lines from Josh Groban's, uh, his song, Evidence. I see the evidence of your goodness all over my life. Help me remember when I'm weak that fear may come and fear will leave. You lead my heart to victory. You are my strength and you always will be. So we all go through these dark nights and they're so uncomfortable. They can be, but they're so worth it to become and to live more of our authentic self. You know, I just want to read this quote quickly, Ron Roth. He didn't say, he didn't quote this, but he said it a lot. The glory of God is found in the one who is fully alive. So this is, this is the truth for all of us, becoming more and more fully alive with one another, with our God, and with everything around us, listening, call to me and I will answer you and will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known, Jeremiah 33, 3. And from the Buddhist philosophy, listen to yourself. Use silence as part of speech to receive information. Listening is intimacy and union. It's individual for each one of us. It's our own personal oneness with the God of our being. The God of our being. Your holy presence living in me and all of you. Thank you, God.